breaking news. ARVR Lab has launched a new Meta Human SDK plugin version. Text-to-speech, audio-to-lip sync including streaming and chatbot now work on Unreal Engine 5. My colleague Hadley is going to show each method in action. Stay tuned, IT is going to be epic. Let's set up a project. Hadley, can you show us how to do it? Hi, my name is Hadley. I am a MetaHuman made in MetaHuman creator and animated by lip sync plugin that I am going to present. First of all I create a new project for the demonstration. By going to the bridge tab I choose a MetaHuman and add it to the project. thousand years later. Then I check if MetaHuman SDK plugin is on. It is on so we are ready to start working. Next on the screen is text-to-speech. Stay tuned. So, to make our MetaHuman speak we need an audio file. Here I will show a few ways how to generate it. First, I'll demonstrate a way to get the voice recording from the editor. To do so we go to the content browser, choose the right folder and by right-clicking select Create Speech to Text Bar. Then I select the TDS engine and the TDS voice engine, and finally type text I want my MetaHuman to pronounce and click the create bar. After that an audio asset appears in my folder. Click All like done. In addition, you can do it not only from the editor, but also from the blueprints. Let me show you how. To do this, I open level blueprint, go for meta human SDK subsystem and select the text to speech method. Then we fill in parameters in the input tab and set the output. If the operation is successful we get the audio file from the text. It's time we checked. Click like and subscribe. Nailed it. Moving on to audio to lip sync. Now that we have the audio file, we can generate an animation for it. I will show several ways how it can be done. First, let's get a face animation in the editor. In the content browser, find the audio asset you would like to use for animation. In my case I will go for the one we got in the previous episode. After that, by right-clicking on the sound wave I go to the sound wave actions and select Create Lip Sync Animation. The Generate Lip Sync Animation window pops up where we should specify the following parameters. The skeleton to which the animation will be attached and the way this animation will be mapped to the character. Here I use the skeleton of our MetaHuman and as a mapping mode I select MetaHuman.
the rest is on the plugin. So, that is it, let's see what we got. Now I am going to repeat the result on our MetaHuman. I select my MetaHuman, apply our animation to its face and add the following audio file. Watch it. Click like and subscribe button. We can also generate animation at runtime. Before we start I undo previous actions and open level blueprint. Here I open the Meta Human SDK subsystem and select the ATL audio to lip sync method. Then I need to set the input parameters and the output. You can see it on the screen. A few more clicks and let's play the result. And it didn't work because I forgot to select the audio file to generate animation. Here we go. Click like and subscribe button. Nice. Hadley, what do you have on audio to lip sync streaming? Previously, I demonstrated the lip sync generation in Blueprints. As you may have noticed, there is a pause between the start of the level and the start of playback to execute the request. Keep in mind that this pause length correlates with the sound size. The bigger size of the audio you use the longer the pause will be. In order to bypass this limitation, we have developed lip sync streaming technology. It allows you to send an audio file and start getting chunks of animation as they are generated, without waiting for the entire file to be processed. So let me show you how it works. As always we open level blueprint and start working there. First step duplicates the audio to lip sync episode. We apply the same input parameters. We need to make these chunks play sequentially. I'll show you a quick way. To do this, I need to take a buffer, pull out the current chunk with index 0. Few clicks and we're ready to play the first chunk as the buffer reports that this data has appeared. So I take this data and run it.
After that we are moving on to the next chunk. Let's check if it's ready, to do this, we take the expected length, divide it by the chunk size to get the chunk sequence length in the buffer. Seal it, an incomplete chunk is also a chunk. We wait till the end of the first chunk to play the second one. Ok, let's see what we got. Our application makes a request to get lip sync. While processing the request we go to the buffer and make sure that as soon as it accumulates enough data, it will let us know. After that we start playing the data sequentially, starting from the first chunk. We switch to the next piece of data and repeat as long as we have data in the buffer. If it's clear, let's see the result. Click like and subscribe button. Is there any chatbot to use? Let's find out. The plugin also allows you to use the brain of a chatbot. I will now demonstrate how to use it. When we start the level, let's add a chat widget to the screen. You can find it in the content of the plugin. After it's done, let's assign on sending a message to the chat. Then we are going to use the MetaHuman SDK subsystem and make a chatbot request. If the request is successful let's play the result by using text-to-speech and audio to lip-sync operations. How to apply these methods I described in the previous episodes. All done, let's have a look. Good day to you. Beautiful. What if I want it all? Hadley has a solution. As you can see from the previous episode it took us a lot of steps to get it done. In order to optimize the process let's use the combo request. Here we have parameters for ATL, TDS, and chatbot operations. You can choose the mode you need. So as always we start with setting the input parameters. For the demonstration I am going for chat TDS ATL.
After that I set up animation for my metahuman. In this case, there is no need to select a sound file. It will be inserted automatically after text-to-speech generation. The same works for the text request as we get it from the chatbot result. As you can see, instead of using such a huge structure we can go for this option. All done, let's check what we got. Salam, that's hello in Farsi. How can I help? Amazing job. Custom rig is for dessert. Hadley has the recipe. And now I will show you how our plugin works with the custom rig. As an example I am going to use a 3D model which goes with the plugin. It is FACS based face rig, you can see the list of blend shapes at the right of the screen. As MetaHuman SDK plugin works with FACS rig we can apply it not only to MetaHumans, but also other 3D heads. Few more steps, grab our head and apply it to the play animation. All set, let's see how it works. Hi, it's really good to hear from you, I hope you're doing well. Brilliant, 